Welcome back to Nurse Mark. If I can do it, you can do it. I have my 2009 Chevy Malibu. It's a 3.5 liter V6. It's got 120,000 miles on it and the temperature's showing cold even when I run it for 10, 15 minutes, even a half hour. And uh, I, I think it's either my thermostat or the electronic temperature sensor. Coolant, it's, I think it's called ECT. So I bought one on Rock Auto. And I'm going to show you where it is because I, I looked everywhere on YouTube but I can't find it because the four cylinders are in different places. So you just take your cover off here. I already took off the cover. I'm just showing you what I did. So you take off the cover. I took off this airflow thing that goes to the mass airflow sensor and the air filter. So you take this off by unscrewing these. There's the throttle body and you just... You just unscrew it from that. You just got to take this piece off on the back. That connects this here, connects to this part right there. So you just take that off. All right. And everywhere on the internet it was, or on YouTube, it was showing, you know, you got your oil fill here. They say it's all the way in the back. I looked and looked and looked. I can't find it. So finally, I was just looking on the side because some... Some uh, engines, I don't know why they're, whatever. Anyhow, it's, uh, I found it. It's right here. And uh, there's the old part right here. And I end up busting this thing off. I was trying to figure out how to get it off because I was trying to get a, I only have a 19 millimeter long extension. So I went up and I got my short wrench out, 3 8 and a 19 millimeter socket. And I pulled that out there. It's just on the side here. So there's your throttle body right there. It's right below your throttle body and it goes into the engine there. Right above the train. Let me see if I can get a better light here. See right above the transmission there and forward, that's where it's located. So here's your oil stick. So you just, on the on the V6 engine, 3.5, it's right here. And it's mounted, it's mounted sideways in the, in the uh, engine. So you just loosen that up right there. And you got to take this wire off here. Okay, and that'll plug in. Hold on. This here, that'll plug in here. I'm going to see if that'll do the job. If not, I have to change the thermostat. And just beware that, you know, coolant's going to come out. You can see all the coolant. It only, it only came out a little bit, so I might just have to top off a little bit. Well, I'll let you guys know what happens and see if that fixes the, the uh, problem. Just a quick update here. I didn't use this because it won't go over top. It's not long enough. It's not a long. It won't go over that plastic and the hub there. So I just used a 19 millimeter wrench here. Okay. That's how I got it off and that's how I'm putting it on. Okay. Well, I changed the sensor out. It's showing hot cold now. It's about two thirds of the way up. But the engine light's still on. And I don't know why. So maybe it is the thermostat. I'll go I'll go to O'Reilly's and check the codes on this and update you. Okay, I just took it to O'Reilly's, did a diagnostic test. It was coming up the same thermostat thing. Friend showed up. Showed me how to erase the code. These check engine lights out, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and change change out the thermostat anyway and see what happens. So, well, my daughter drives this, so I might as well just keep it safe. I got a new thermostat.